Hello, this LP3 training video is for config and accounting info. Let's take a look at the uh, settings and accounting info. So under accounting options, we have ledger date. Ledger date uh, is used to calculate the loan information. And um, it should always be today's date. Whatever day your calendar date is, uh, should be the ledger date within the software and let me go ahead and exit this screen when you log in your ledger date will show which today is November 5th and the ledger date for today and the ledger date in the software should match to make sure that things are calculating correctly like who's current who's late uh, any interest fees collections everything is calculated based on ledger date so come back into config, accounting info. Now you can turn the ledger date. Um, you can uncheck ledger date is system date and you can change the date. And that is done under specific conditions that should be only done with a CFS software staff. So uh, keep this setting set to ledger date unless you know what you're doing it can really mess up things in your software so uh, anyways we'll just go ahead and keep that setting this this entire area is user restricted so uh, clerks uh, other people working in your staff should should not have permission or should not be given permission to access uh, this section and change turn off ledger date so accounting on or off, leave accounting on. If you uh, turn accounting off, it'll turn off uh, debit and credit transactions in the software. So uh, don't do that. This is only done uh, similar to ledger date under direction from CFS software staff. And um, just leave that on. Just wanted to uh, go over uh, what it will affect, which is debit and credit transactions will not uh, will not be logged. Uh, don't worry about uh, LP accounting, just leave that default. So show income, expense, and profit. And this will, this is showing it in your period report. So let me go ahead and check that. And anytime you make a change in your config section and you save those changes, it's going to tell you that you need to log out, log back in, which we'll do. Uh, because I went ahead and checked this show income expense and profit I went ahead and turned it on I saved it so let's go ahead and exit go ahead and exit out of the software let me log back in <clears throat> go ahead and come back in and config the accounting so the show income expense and profit is actually under accounting view documents period report go ahead and pull up the period report if you have this checked, it will show the income, expense, and profit. If you have it unchecked, it won't show this. Some customers may not want uh, certain individuals in their organization to see these numbers, so maybe that's why they want it turned off or turned on. But probably best just to leave it default. If you don't know why you should or shouldn't have it turned on or off, just leave it turned on for now. Go ahead and exit out of the screen, done with it. So show cash flow. The uh, show cash flow is on the loan register. So under uh, today's business is the loan register and uh, cash flow. So show cash flow, whether or not that's on or off, go ahead and exit here is right here so it won't show in the loan register if you turn it off it will show if you turn it on so show cash should be I think most people should have show cash should be turned on show cash should be is to show you what your cash drawer cash should be when you're going through your close of day so that was off go ahead and turn it on you save it okay Go to go ahead and exit, exit out of the software because it made changes in the config section. Uh, 
log back in. So config accounting info. So show cash should be. When you go to closing at the end of the day, and ask you if all uh, the users are logged out, yes. When you've uh, done all your, when you verified all your information on the closing transaction screens and you continue closing, right here, cash should be. It's gonna show you what your cash should be if you count your cash drawers. And then you can verify, yes, I have this amount or no, I don't. Well, the reason why we have this option here under accounting info and show cash should be, sometimes people will put in what they see here versus counting, actually counting their cash drawers, or they'll count their cash on hand and it maybe won't match. And instead of putting what they have, what they physically have uh, in the cash count, they'll just go ahead and mimic this number which maybe will make today look all right in the software but if you don't put in what you truly have on hand then you can't figure out why it's not right so some customers want to turn off it's showing what the cash count should be so that the um, branch staff will accurately put in exactly what they have and it's not and their decision to put in what they have isn't skewed by seeing that amount already so anyways, it's probably best to just keep this on, um, looking over everything, making sure your cash count is not short or over, and if it is, figuring that out, um, and then putting in the correct amount. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the closing screen, and back here, and that was a show cash should be. So auto deposit checks from payments. Checks are automatically added to the deposit, this is the default setting. So your deposit, your, your bank deposit at the end of the day, checks are automatically added. So when you go to account it, accounting and closing, yes, everybody's logged out. Um, any checks are automatically added in here. And that um, auto deposit uh, entry is added in there if you have this uh, checked, otherwise, you would have to manually enter it in. Card payment, a uh, separate bank. So uh, let's take a quick look uh, to, to describe what card payment, separate bank. You come over under accounting and closing. So yes, so we have our cash drawer, how much money's in our cash drawer. And then we have our uh, bank one right here so bank one which is uh, you know cash flow um, and then in this particular case or how much money net you know positive or negative we have and then bank two so if we have accounting info and card payment and separate bank then any any um, debit card payments that were taken say online or something that's not in your cash drawer more than likely it would be an online payment for something or maybe taken over the phone those debit card payments would show in a separate bank underneath your closing so you keep them separate from money on hand and that's what this being checked is that uh, those card payments will show in the separate bank under the closing section and we have at this point three different banks um, and go over what each of those mean more in depth later. Just want to make sure that the accounting info and the card payment separate bank, having that checked, it'll show uh, in, the, in the second bank. So live check proceeds separate bank. A separate live check proceeds to a separate bank. Um, so if you're sending out live checks, which most people don't do, um, then you would show that also. In a separate bank and that's the setting for it we'll go over that here um, if you don't know what live check is it's, it's a completely different area that needs much further discussion just whether or not a chosen second bank is here that's the most important thing to know under accounting section so unearned calculation method options are simple interest and pre-computed interest so if you put your mouse over simple interest unearned based on refund 
So if you have simple interest here, it's based on the refund. If you have pre-computed interest here, then um, it's based on the payment to principal first. And if you don't understand the difference between those two, uh, that will be further explained. Just want to make sure that you understand that in order to choose unearned calculation method within your software is here and it's pre-computed interest or simple interest. General ledger exports. Right now we have uh, two export options and that is business works or QuickBooks, which are pretty much uh, you, the accounting package used by all customers that we've run into. Um, very, very popular accounting packages. Uh, a lot of customers, if they have multiple locations, will use business works. And then um, many single or only having couple location customers will use QuickBooks. Uh, some multi-location customers use QuickBooks too. Uh, whichever one, you can export your general ledger information to daily after close. Daily defer charges export. export. So daily deferred charges export are um, to export deferred charges uh, not at QuickBooks. So this uh, just leave unchecked. If this needs to change, uh, that'll be gone over with, with you whenever your um, section, your accounting, your software set up. Separate checks export. Uh, checks are exported individually in QuickBooks export. So if you have this checked, and if you want a little more information, um, if you have that checked, then checks are, are separate entries for QuickBooks reconciliation. Allow expense amount edit. Allows users to change the expense amount in check cash, voucher, etc. So under accounting and, and closing, can enter vouchers, checks, and other things uh, throughout the day uh, to have all of your accounting match up, um, all the debits and credits in and out of software that were not loan related. So if you have this checked, it allows you to edit uh, the amounts in, in that section. So. If you don't want to allow edit of that, then you would uncheck this. Drawer assignment, just uh, leave it at a single drawer system for now. All users uh, use the same drawer and closing same drawer. If that's ever going to change, uh, it requires quite a bit of training. And uh, for now, just consider single drawer system. So check print options. Print checks for, so if you just give cash to people, which not a lot of companies do, most companies don't want to keep thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on hand. They want to have checks print whenever they're doing loans. You can choose here, when you create a loan for somebody, does it automatically you know, take you into printing the check too when you create the loan? So you can check to do that for new loans, uh, renewal, loan renewals, uh, in full overpay, uh, former borrower uh, renewals. Uh, right now, this one is unchecked for mail phone loans. So if you did a mail or phone loan, it wouldn't automatically print a check. It's a little bit separate process, probably why that's unchecked. And then check register. So checks print for automatically if you have these. Uh, individual selection selected when you do uh, this type of loan the check will automatically print so here it allows you to put in what will the ch next check number be so if you have check stock maybe you ran out of checks and you ordered in new checks and they uh, and for some reason you didn't have a match in the check number that that were on the stock that you received you could come in here and make a change to the what what the next check number is uh, for when you give somebody a loan when you give somebody a loan it's going to have you verify that this is the next check number automatically and here you can put in what the next one will be and if it ever changes you come back and change it in a section 
Additionally, under uh, check printing options, under accounting info, the minimum check amount. So say you want to give, well, say you only want to give checks if it's an amount over $100 or 150 or 200 because maybe the check fee for giving somebody $20 or 30 or 40 or 50 is just doesn't work out. So you can also uh, put in the minimum amount that the check will automatically come up for when you renew a loan type. And don't worry about ACH vendor. This is not used significantly. And if it is, this section will be gone over in, in great detail and set up. So if further questions arise from ACH vendor options, uh, what options you have for ACH, then that's a separate topic that needs much further discussion. So those are the main points of config and then accounting info section and uh, the settings within the accounting, uh, accounting info that are um, editable and what they are for. Thank you very much. Exit, exit.